Hey folks, your OS Reviews. You're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Trident uh, AGEIS series case for the LG G Flex. They also offer this for the G Flex 2 uh, as well as the uh, newest generation of Apple iPhone devices. So this is a case that sells for about 40 bucks or retails for 40 bucks online and it's a fairly sturdy case. It's a hard shell case that is tested or at least claimed to be tested to military specifications. It's not a waterproof case, but it is a drop proof as well as a dust proof case that adds an extra layer of protection for your smartphone. So my previous case that I used for the G Flex is great. It's a pretty slim as well as a nicely attractive, but uh, since this is a curved phone, whenever you set it onto a surface or you know use a little bit of force and drop it down, uh, the weight is distributed differently compared to a typical or normal flush you know, candy bar phone. So as a result, some of the corners, you can see there's a bit of cracking going on. So I do want to replace this, this uh, case soon. And hopefully this particular case in front of you today is gonna do that job. So taking a closer look at the presentation of the packaging here, you can see that it has a bit of, bit of specs. There is a QR code that you can scan to learn more info about how the company performed and tested out this case uh, in real life. The back also features some additional info about how it works. It easily slides in and out of pockets. It's relatively lightweight as a polycarbonate uh, case. There are dust filters as well as the uh, controls are still uh, ac accessible. You know, there's also vibration uh, standards that they had to go through to pass these tests. And there's also a screen protector that's actually included. So that's nice to know. So in here we have access just to the case itself. We'll take a closer look at the design of this case in a moment. Um, there's also access, it looks like, just to a quick start guide or a manual underneath here. Uh, the screen protector is probably also underneath this. And this is actually a two-piece case. So there's a hard shell element that I talked about for extra protection against scratches. And there's a soft shell layer on the inside, which uh, bonds to your phone, prevents your phone from getting scratched, and also absorbs the shock. So that's the two-piece element. Uh, so this is what the phone case looks like on the inside. Uh, on here, we have access just to the screen protector as well as the thank you card slash ins instruction manual that tells you how to install things properly, uh, how to put the phone in and out, learn more info. It's actually printed in full color. It tells you all of the various series that is currently being offered by this company. And otherwise, there's just access to that screen protector. So it's a nice little film that you can then apply. It includes a microfiber cleaning cloth to remove any dust from your device. I already have a screen protector applied, so not really a huge use for that at the moment, but a nice addition nonetheless. So taking a look at the case next, again, we have access to that uh, Trident logo on the center of the case that has this nice, interesting texture, which again, grips your phone quite nicely. And you can see here how even the uh, volume ports uh, or the speaker ports down below here are actually covered in a layer of a uh, slight filter layer. So it prevents dust from getting in. So it is going to be quite sturdy in that sense. It does add a fair amount of bulk, even though it is lightweight and still is easy to slide in the pockets, because it is slick feeling um, compared to this very slim fit case I have uh, pre-installed on the G Flex here, you can see that it does add a bit more bulk. So that's something to put in mind when you are using this and uh, traveling around. But there are rubber accents on the sides, which still makes it quite easy to grip and hold in the hand. You still have access to all the ports as well as controls when using this uh, phone. Case. So I've just removed the hard shell case that I had previously on the G Flex from the phone. And the first thing that I've noticed is that it's actually covered in a layer of dust, as you can see, there. So it means that some of the places aren't extremely secure and dust was able to get in uh, and you do you probably should clean this off you know before popping it into the, the case again. So I'm going to try and do that uh, first before inserting it into the case. Otherwise I'm just going to try popping it in without actually you know removing the second soft touch layer first and see if that's uh, feasible. So a quick wipe down to get rid of some of this uh, dust. And afterwards, when I am satisfied with how this looks, I'm just going to try sliding this into this case. I'm going to not pop off the silicone layer first and see if I can actually achieve that. I'm going to go from the corners first, and it's a little bit more difficult than a regular phone, which is completely boxy without that curved you know, screen. So this takes a little bit more of fiddling around and pressing in to make sure everything is inserted correctly, but it seems like I've achieved that. So not too difficult. And afterwards, again, the phone, of course, doesn't fall off or fall out, anything like that. And this is what the you know, phone looks like once I have popped it into this case. You can see there that it does add a fair amount of bulk, makes it seem a bit more industrial. Um, does leave a little bit more of uh, the paint on the back of the phone to be, you know, 
revealed to the Otherwise, end. there are rubber flaps that cover up each of the individual ports from the uh, micro USB port for charging and syncing, along with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And that stays in place quite nicely. It seems to be pretty well constructed and attaches onto the case as opposed to inserting all the way into the phone. So uh, nice and secure, doesn't fall out uh, very easily. And again, this is the speaker grill on the bottom here, also nicely protected and covered up. So on the side here, there's also a lanyard strap in case you want to add a charm or a keychain and attach it onto the phone. Those are all a few details that you can see that the case really has precision cut and made for the G Flex. And so all in all, it seems like it has a very nice attention to detail and is well put together. I like how the frame has this really nice soft touch rubber material that uh, is lifted off from the surface of the screen. So if I place the phone face down on a surface, it doesn't move around. It also doesn't scratch the screen or come into contact first. And of course, everything is uh, precision cut out. So all in all, a very attractive case as well as a sturdy case that you could consider picking up if you are looking for something that might last you a bit longer than a super slim fit case or a more inexpensive case that you currently have. Thanks for watching this video first look and a quick review of the Trident series uh, this is the HEGIS series case for the LG G Flex.